Hello Cancer and Susie from the Gift 202. This is your reading for the week of the 15th of September. Angels, Spirit Guides, Universe. What would you like Cancer to know about? I'm sorry, I'm just reading all of <laughs> I've just read something stupid. Angels, Spirit Guides, Universe. <laughs> Angel, Spirit, God, Universe, what would you like Cancer to know about this week of the 15th of September? The next 7 to 10 days, Angel, Spirit, God, Universe, Cancer, please. Angel, Spirit, God, Universe, Cancer, what would you like Cancer to know? Next 7 to 14 days, Angel, Spirit, God, Universe. Okay. Oh, I'll put them up. They're all sort of on their side. Angel, spirit, guides, cancer, please. What would you like cancer to know about this week of the... What's the date? This week is the 15th of September, the next 7 to 10 days. Angel, spirit, guides, for cancer, please. What would you like cancer to know? What would you like cancer to know? I'll do that again because I don't know how they fell out. Angels, what would you like cancer to know about this week, the next 7 to 10 days? The next 7 to 10 days for cancer. Oh my gosh. Next 7 to 10 days for cancer. Please, angels, spirit guides for cancer. What would you like cancer to know? Next 7 to 10 days oh, for cancer. What would you like cancer to know? Angels, spirit guides, universe. What would you like cancer to know? Cancer, angels. Oops. Alright. Ooh. Right, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. So there's some kind of celebration, a hen do, a birthday, something like that coming up. Could be a date. Uh, we've got the first card is the Four of Wands with the Ten of Wands. So some kind of contract or partnership could become, have become a burden. Um you're you're stuck it feels like you're stuck in this contract or you're stuck on this desert island nothing's floating your boat something out of the blue is going to hit the home as the tower and it's going to bring massive um, enlightenment or healing or something about a leo the sun is here so it melts down any malefic cards so it's something coming to your spiritual awareness um it's like an awakening but it comes with a shock uh this could involve a knight of wands someone running in and out of your life um that you're putting a closure to because they have a vice or they have some kind of drink drug rock and roll problem um you're graduating this it's like you're graduating feeling a whole like a whole person um, traveling, there's lots of travel, someone could be traveling towards you, you could be traveling towards them. Um, but I would say that someone like this King of Swords is not who they say they are, or they're a little bit mentally unbalanced. Uh, next to that, you've got the Emperor reversed, which is uh, someone not taking action, someone feeling very angry. Uh, so there's some kind of anger here, there's some kind of not talking or coldness going on someone that is unbalanced or illegal it could be an air sign a fire sign um a father figure something illegal here this is causing no talking a stalemate a decision to be made someone is angry with something they're not talking them need to be to be a decision um there's one last struggle to get over their success coming it's just that you need to not gossip or listen to gossip. There could be something about a mother figure, a pregnancy, something abundant here where you've mastered uh, your craft. You've got independence and money. Um, this is, is like, this is also travel. But you do end with the death card. So there's something coming to an end which should have come to an end a long time ago. It could be the end of being single, the end of independence. But death usually comes with tears. So there's something about 
um, a creative venture maybe coming to an end or something that you you're, knew you're creating on your own and not with another person because you've become sovereign. You've mastered something and, and people might be gossiping about it. So let me just check the book here, the Emperor, the Emperor, before my battery runs out. Um, you've got Empress up there. Does she read? So there's a new beginning in two weeks. It's a new beginning, but you'll need patience and skill to do it. Um, one, two, three, four, death of four. Yeah, something's come to an end and you've got to acknowledge that things change. Um, it's, like a, you've, you've, it's like you've got to the top of your game and then you need to do something else or learn something else or change college to university or something or a new job. It's like you've outgrown it or outdone it. Uh, I just want to see, hold on a minute, the five of wands there in the outcome of the ten. Success won through courage and tenacity. So there's a success coming and th that four of cups, you could be talking to people about it, talking to friends about this success is, is about to come. Um, it's seeking new paths in life and moving onward. So you, I, I feel that you're moving away from this imbalance or this inaction or this this stalemate or someone's not making a decision. Uh, there's like one last obstacle to get over before you master your craft, and it's like this: this ending's coming to a natural end. It's, uh, something's coming to an end. Something should have ended a long time ago. Um, with the Emperor reverse there, I'm wondering why he is upside down. It could be a military person, a boss. Um, yeah, there's something constraining you that's bringing, that you can't, there's something that's pulling you back you can't move forward with. Is it this King of Swords? Lying or, or not talking. Uh, just... So you're it's a detachment. There's something that's not emotional. That's not. You've come to a cycle end with someone. Maybe it's like you're having this enlightenment, this spiritual graduation, this travel someone could be traveling towards you like i said you're getting rid of this burden after uh, after a, a contract could be broken a house could be being split into two uh, but th the sun is here so it's health it's ho hope it's it's glow up Tr the two travel cards are here but there's a emo emotionally stifled something's holding you back you could be moving on to be single and um you could, it could be single motherhood or with the Empress there with the Nine of Pentacles. But yeah, something is coming to an end that should have come to an end a long time ago so that you can have more success. Angels, Spirit Guides, Universe, what would you like Cancer to know? What would you like Cancer to know? Cancer to know. I'll take the bottom two. Okay, so we have no conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So this is not favorable. The world is saying, stop, pat yourself on the back. Look how far you've come. Look at the the joy, the children, the health. You know, you, you dance around your, your, your front room because whatever's coming up is, is not, uh, is a stalemate. It's not... If, if you can't move, it's like something's holding you back. So in the meantime, do what this card says and do when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath or pedicure. So it's time to stop and, and create um, your own world, your own happiness, because conditions just aren't right now. 
Um, let's see your romance angels. What would you like Cancer to know? What would you like Cancer to know? Just one of the universe. What would you like Cancer to know? It could be a house has been a burden. Um, a Leo has been a burden. Uh, or there's something that's just, you can't get off this desert island to do stuff. It's, it's hard. that you're not meant to this week. Yeah, free yourself. It's time to, to take back control of your life. Angels, spirit guides, cancer, please. What would you like cancer to know? What would you like cancer to know? Something's come to an end that should have come to an end. Uh, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Cancer, please. Cancer, would you like cancer to know? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there could have been something where there's an age gap, there's a distance, there's some kind of bone of contention in, in religion or um, just um, maybe distance travel between you. But it's saying there's a soulmate here. But right now, something else has got to come to an end, I think, before you can move forward. Let's ask the person most on Cancer's mind. What would you like them to know? The person most on Cancer's mind. So, the person most on Cancer's mind, if they could tell them the truth, what would it be? Okay, so finding out the truth crushed me. I want to feel that way again. I hope that you can forgive me one day and you came closer than anyone. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't think you can forgive this person. But that's down to you. There could be someone new in the mix. Free yourself up. Get yourself patted on the pat on patted on the back. Pat yourself on the back. Um, if you graduate with the world, you don't go straight out after doing three years of work and become a doctor. You take some time out to have some fun. So maybe you should do that, Cancer. Uh, take care. Look after yourself and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.